I said I was going to help you pass. I didn't say it was going to be easy. If you're a complete beginner and have no idea what the Delhi A1 exam is or where to even start, then let me tell you that I was in the exact same place, summer 2017, when I decided to appear for the Delhi A1 exam and just gave myself three months to prepare. Let me show you today how I took those three months and not just ended up passing, but also scored a 91% result in my first attempt. Let's get started. Now the first thing I would recommend is understand what Delhi is and then understand what is expected of you. As I spoke about in my previous video talking about my experience with the C1 exam, Delhi is the officially and globally recognized examination for the Spanish language which ranges from the level A1 all the way up to C2. At Delhi A1, the examiner or the examination is expecting students to be able to understand basic vocabulary of day-to-day -day contexts, to be able to describe a little bit about themselves and about others, and to be able to interact and hold a conversation in a very basic manner with the speaker. Now, what does this mean for us students? It means that we have to be very well versed with our everyday contexts like Pedi Ripagar in Umbar, visiting a restaurant, visiting a cafe, Asher la compra, while going shopping, how do you ask for help during shopping, how do you pay while shopping, Pedi Ridar Direcciones, to ask and be able to give directions. These are everyday contexts that are extremely important and we have to be well versed with the vocabulary and the structures surrounding these concepts. Number two, speaking of personal information, this means that you have to be able to express a little bit about yourself. Quantos años tienes? Que haces? Tu rutina diaria, which means reflexive verbs. All of these are extremely important. And number three, to be able to interact with the examiner in a basic manner, know your basic structures, the basic questions, know hola como estas, be able to reply to these at least. Give the examiner all of these and you'll not just make sure that you pass, but that you'll pass with flying colors. My second tip is build a vocabulary bank. This is everything, okay? I always keep telling my students that the vocabulary you learn in level A1 are like the building blocks of the foundation of your language skills for life. I would love to show you guys in detail how I went about learning vocabulary and listing vocabulary, but let me tell you in a very broad manner what I did. So basically divided the entire vocabulary notebook in two sections, which was one section for all the words, which included nouns, adjectives, phrases, and everything else, basically just words. And the other section was exclusively for verbs, verbs and their conjugations. So anytime that I came across a new set of words or verbs, I would immediately go and list it in my vocabulary notebook. And this is the key idea behind the notebook. That is, I went about memorizing one side of a page of that notebook every single night. Now, I know that some of you all might be working and, you know, time might be a challenge. But then, to be very, very honest with you, if you have only three months and if you're genuinely serious about building some skills in a language, two words, three words are not going to help you in just three months to build any kind of vocabulary skills or a very concrete set of skills. That is why being brutally honest, at least aim to do 10 to 15 words in a day, okay? It's not impossible, very much doable. But if you're serious about passing and scoring well in three months, I would say anything less than 10 words is an unrealistic target, okay? At least 10 to 15 words every single day, every single night. It used to take me about half an hour or 45 minutes to learn this. So it's not even that time consuming or that challenging if you might think about it. I said I was going to help you pass. I didn't say it was going to be easy. My next tip is think about connectors. I see that a lot of students in A1 tend to underestimate the power of basic connectors such as tambien o tampoco o por eso. These are such simple and beautiful connectors that you can use to really wow your examiner, you know, especially in the oral exam, you can use connectors like para empezar or para terminar, en conclusión, wow, your examiner is going to feel that wow and you are definitely going to get a lot of marks for these. So please think about using connectors wherever possible. There are a lot of resources online such as articles and even videos that show you the kind of connectors that you can use in level A1 in a very easy manner. 
So please think about this. Please do use this to make sure that your examiner goes well. Key topics. Now, I also mentioned this in my first video speaking of the C1 exam and a lot of you all agreed, a lot of teachers agreed that yes, key topics are extremely important. But I personally think that the key topics that we learn in A1 are the most practically useful and important concepts to know, especially if you're a language learner. So as per my research from different textbooks or different publications like El Avance, Protagonistas and also Prisma, I learned that the following are some important key topics that are expected at level A1. Presentación personal, being able to talk about yourself y describir a una otra persona, another person, describe another person. Describir el barrio la ciudad o el país, to be able to describe and talk about your neighborhood or your city or your country. Pedir y pagar en un bar, en un restaurante, en un café y una tienda. Ropa y moda. La hora, el clima, las estaciones. Okay? Y también los gustos, lo que me gusta, lo que no me gusta. All these topics are key and essential to know at A1 and they're also going to help you throughout the language, right? Because these are such practically useful concepts to know as a language learner. My last tip is talking about all the resources that are available. So when you self-study, the internet is your best friend. There are many, many resources online. I have a montón de recursos, no? But the ones that I find most helpful and the ones that I regard most important are number one, the Delhi website. This has everything related to the exam. So you find the sample paper here, you can find the guide to the exam, you can find the rubrica, lot of information that you can go through on the official Delhi website. So do check that out. Uh, the second site I would recommend is Profe de LA. So as a teacher and also as a student, I really enjoy this site because it has something for every level. It teaches concepts in a very interesting manner and there's a lot of games and activities that you can practice as well. So highly recommend Profe de LA. Then there's also Duolingo which I know a lot of people enjoy and I do recommend this at level A1 because it's always good for practicing vocabulary and learning new vocabulary. This along with everything else that is already available on YouTube, different blogs and you know different teachers online. So do check out all of these and I wish you all the very best. If you're really considering the Delhi A1 exam and you have more doubts, more questions or if you're looking for more coaching plans then please do reach out to me on my Instagram at Hug of Books and we can take it further from there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.